In our previous T1D 101 videos, we discussed blood glucose targets using glucometers and how we monitor diabetes using A1C. Both are great tools, but they only give you a snapshot at a specific time. Blood glucose levels tell you what your blood glucose is at that exact moment. And A1C gives you an idea of what it has been over the past three months. It is hard to tell day to day if your overall control is on track. The American Diabetes Association, or ADA, recommends an A1C goal of less than 7% as a target, but it is important to discuss your personal A1C goal with your care team. Continuous glucose monitors are a great way to see how your blood glucose is trending. The devices can calculate a percentage of how much time you are spending in range. 1% of the day is equal to 15 minutes. Time in range, also known as TIR, is important because it captures the highs and lows in glucose that are not easily seen with A1C or glucometers. The ADA recommends spending greater than 70% of time between 70 to 180 milligrams per deciliter and having it below 70 milligrams per deciliter for less than 4% of the time. Staying in these ranges consistently should result in an A1C of less than 7%. A large amount of low blood glucose readings can make your A1C appear lower than it really is, since A1C is the average of your blood glucose levels over the past three months. For example, if your blood glucose levels are 40% in range, 20% below range, and 40% above range, your A1C could be 7%, but it would look more like a roller coaster than if your levels were mostly in range. The ADA recommends that you aim for greater than 70% in range with less than 4% in the low. T1D tip. Remember, TIR is a goal. There are many factors that can affect your blood glucose levels, such as foods that are difficult to carb count, how your body processes food, or even exercise. We aim for over 70% in range with less than 4% lows, but really, we are aiming for you to be safe. On your continuous glucose monitors, you can look at TIR daily, but it's recommended to look at time periods, such as every three days or two weeks before making changes in your insulin plan. If you are not hitting the in-range goal of over 70%, talk to your care team. They may have different goals for you as your body and habits change over time. Every 5% increase in TIR makes a difference. 